Hi everyone, how are you all? I hope you all are doing great. My name is Narendra and welcome back to Office Master. Today's video is going to be incredibly useful for anyone who works with data in Excel. We'll be diving into the stock history function, a powerful tool that can provide you with the valuable insights into stock data directly within Excel. But before we get into that, I have an exciting announcement. We understand the importance of staying ahead in today's fast-paced world, especially when it comes to technology. That's why we are offering an exclusive workshop on Microsoft Office using AI tools. The link is in the description. We'll share more details later in the video. Working professionals, are you using Excel, Power BI, PowerPoint or Word in your day-to-day -day life? What if I tell you that you're wasting 95% of your time while you're doing so? How so you'll be asking me? Because you're not using chat GPT and AI tools while doing all of these work. Now let's jump into the stock history function. Stock history function in Excel is a game changer when it comes to analyzing stock data. Whether you are a financial professional investor or just someone interested in tracking stock prices this function can make your life a lot easier we'll explore the syntax parameters and how to use this function effectively i'll walk you through the practical examples to ensure you grasp the concept thoroughly first of all let's see syntax of stock history function for that we are going to visit official documentation of stock history function in Microsoft support. So here you can see the official documentation of stock history function. So here you can see the syntax. So first of all, we have to give stock ticker. So I'll show you what is ticker. Then we have to give start date, then end date, after that interval. Then we want to give headers. Uh, we want headers or not, we have to specify that. After that we have to give properties. So we have properties like uh, date, close, open, high, low, volume. So before going to see the practical implementation of stock history function, I would like to tell you one important thing. As we all know, the world is evolving and AI is becoming an integral part of our daily lives. We have witnessed the impact it has on jobs and industries. You might be wondering how to stay relevant and secure your career in this changing landscape. Here is a deal, AI won't replace you, but the person who knows how to leverage AI tools effectively will have a significant advantage. To help you navigate this transition, we are offering a two hour Microsoft Office using AI tools workshop. In this workshop, you will learn about the best AI tools to upskill, increase your productivity and enhance your career. Don't miss out this opportunity to make your future secure. Join our workshop by clicking the link in the description box now. Now back to our main topic. So let's see the stock history of Tata Steel. So I'm going to show you what is ticker. So, so here is a Tata Steel Limited and ticker is Tata still this one is a ticker which we are going to use to get the stock history okay so let's copy these details to excel so here we are going to copy the ticker
okay so let's find out uh, stock history of tata steel so you just have to type stock history first of all you have to select the ticker then start date so what we are going to do is here here we are going to enter the date which is uh, like 2020 something like that first january 2020 so let's do that so here i'm going to use a date then here i'm going to specify the year 2020 then month first month then first day okay after that end date so end date would be today okay then interval so here interval let's take monthly okay you can also take daily weekly like that okay then uh, we want headers or not so let's uh, put headers okay then here are the properties so i want date then I want uh, close closing stock price hmm? then open stock price I want all these things okay high low and volume also so here you can see the data we got all this data you can analyze this data and you can get really good insights so here you can see on uh, 1st of January 2020 so the closing stock price was 43.87 rupees and today you can see the closing price was around like 137.40 rupees so the stock price got really increased from 2020 to 2024. So in this way you can analyze the stock history and how these things are working on. And that's it for now. As we wrap up, I encourage you to try out the stock history function in your own Excel projects. If you found this video helpful, do like, comment, share and subscribe to our youtube channel for more informative content and remember to stay ahead in your career consider joining our microsoft office using a tools workshop the link is in the description secure your future now thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video